Hello, people of God. Going back to the prophecies of the Rabbi Kaduri and Rabbi Sasson Shoshani, the year of corrections was going to be 5780, which started on September 30th, 2019, and he was right about it. That was the year of correction. Obviously, it moved all the way until the end of 2020, September 18th, and that was a year of correction. COVID-19 has corrected economies, has brought the entire world to its knees, and, well, now we can see that he was right. He was correct about the year of correction. He was correct about both two presidents, two prime ministers that were going to be named Benjamin, the both of them, and we know about the prophecy of Rachel uh, when he gave birth to Benjamin, calling him Benani. This guy was called Benny, but I don't have a doubt that while he was a child, maybe they called him Benani. He ended up turning it into Benny. It's a possibility. The fact is, we got Benjamin Netanyahu and Benjamin Gantz, the two kings in government together that did not succeed in establishing their government together. And now they're going to dissolve the Knesset. But there is an interesting piece of info here that came out on the Times of Israel. Shah's party chief predicts that the Knesset won't dissolve this week. It's supposed to be dissolving by midnight tonight, but it might suffer an extension for another week, since we know that the possibility of rapture this year is most likely to be on December 31st, because it's the last day of the year, and the prophecy of the last day, and so forth. You watch my previous videos, all the pieces of info that are converging on the 31st of the year. Now, if this goes pushed until next year, Tuesday, that means the following Sabbath. Now, even though it's on a Thursday, and at midnight it will be uh, Friday over there, still it doesn't matter that it's not precisely the Sabbath according to scriptures, because a Sabbath could be also in the middle of the week if it's a celebration. And because it is the New Year's Eve for Gentiles, it could be a Sabbath. As I told you in my previous video, on January 1st, on 2011th, and January 1st, on 2012, blackbirds falling from the sky. Events that only the Lord can make happen, and he shows the first of the year, meaning Feast of Trumpets for the Gentiles. So it could very well be pointing to December 31st. If they don't dissolve tonight, and they push it one week, now you get your absolute and complete certainty that it will be December 31st. Now, if they do dissolve it tonight, still they might be referring to the Sabbath of the New Year's Eve. We shall see. This is uh, getting interesting by the minute. So, be watching, be praying, and be seeking God. Until next time, God bless you all. Shalom.